It's a no for me. <laughs> it's a no for me. It's a big giant no for me. <laughs> Hey hoes, we made it to Hawaii. Aloha! Y'all, it's good! Oh my god. Camera capturing every single pour. Damn. Oof. Hello from Honolulu. I'm so excited. The weather was gorgeous. The air feels so good. Ugh. Let's recharge and refresh. Sorry for holding your drink hostage. No, it's okay because I was doing yours earlier. I don't know what it was, but enjoying fruit this entire trip just felt like the right thing to do. You best believe that we ate and drank well this entire trip. It was great. Ooh, all up in her business. All up in her business. Hey y'all, what's up? So I'm in Hawaii, as you can see. This is my first, like I guess, official vlog. Y'all, what's good? I found a little vlogging spot in this little secret hideaway spot where I could take photos and I'm really excited. So it's on the side of the hotel where we're staying at and there's a main entry, but you can come around this way and nobody comes out here. So I've been okay and I'm matching. Um, but that's that, I'm really excited. I'm not sure what we're gonna do today, but there's plenty to do. I'm not even gonna start naming stuff off. I'm just gonna show y'all. So I'm really excited. Right now I'm doing some photo shoots because I have like over 10 bikinis <laughs> I brought with me. Um, yeah, so I was feeling a little down yesterday, but I had to remember I'm in Hawaii. Uh, hello. I felt like people in my life were bringing me down, but it might have just been a weird bitterness. They were telling me weird slash bad news at the same time. They were pressuring me, and I'm just over here like, let me chill, let me vibe. This is my happy place. So yeah. Y'all do not understand how in love I was with this little spot. Oh my gosh. Relaxation haven right here. Wait! Wait! The water's hot! <laughs> Alright y'all, we lost the last. <laughs> it's the middle of the photo shoot we lost the last, but we're going strong. Hold up. Anyways. Y'all, Hawaii is such a vibe. I brought a bunch of swimsuits and I took a bunch of photos and I did my own little self photo shoots and it was really fun. This is one of my favorite ones. It was a super sparkly, glittery ass one and I loved it so much. It looked great in the water. Also, if you're traveling, get yourself an underwater camera because those be coming in clutch. Just make sure you get a strap so you don't lose your phone wherever you dunked it under the water. Look at my ass, I look like a reptile. <laughs> I've been in the water too long. I know my contacts are irritated, but this was so much fun. Hey, baby. Oh, where is it? On the thing. Oh. Hey, baby. Are you a lizard? Got me excited. I thought you were a frog. He's like, bitch, and <laughs> I am what I am. <laughs> it is a lizard. All right, y'all are cool too. All right, so exit. That's so wild. So y'all, we're in like a parking garage. I think it was towards the right. We're in like a parking garage and we, it leads right out. You can see the actual road there. But then like inside the parking garage in the middle is like, yeah. But yeah, y'all, so we're in like a parking garage, but like the stores are right next to it. And I've never seen anything like this. And it's pretty cool. We just passed a shoe store. Pretty, pretty lit. Like I said, parking garage mall. Parking garage mall. For people who are used to this, you're like, this is the vlog? This is what you're telling us? I'm not used to it, okay? Okay, not nah, forever. though. This mall was huge. It went from underground to like all these extra stories on the top and it spread out. And anyways, I got to thinking about how people travel for different reasons. You have people who are like, oh, I just want to experience, you know, the city and the sun a third. You have people who want to meet new people. And then you have people who, you know, they just show up to shop. <laughs> that must be the life right there. Oh, let me fly to Hawaii real quick and check out the Louis Vuitton. There's this one accessory I want to get, but it also makes you wonder about everyone 
everyone's values too and how your values change throughout life some people like their life dressed up some people like it more down to earth and there's nothing wrong with either speaking of down to earth let's go for a hike it's a brand new day let's go y'all it's good we're out here all right see the glisten you see the glisten that's sweat that's sweat let me stop <laughs> very very beautiful so the hike and the view were absolutely magnificent i had a really good time and i feel like it was a manageable hike too we got down to the bottom and had lunch they had these food stands as well as all these pineapple related products and juices and yeah it was really delicious anyways that's that it feels really good like this i feel like this is what humanity was supposed to be to be honest like we all supposed to just be frolicking in fields all right eating fruit doing whatever we do and just enjoying ourselves and instead there's cities and buildings and all that stuff so i really do like hiking because it kind of grounds you and i feel like um i've been going through some stuff so i feel like i'm kind of getting back to myself a little bit but that's it. it's really beautiful out here it's definitely worth it you can definitely see i'll show you in some footage too but you can see how you're inside the crater and it's just a good vibe i would say the hike was like mild to moderate the terrain is pretty rocky at some point and at the end there are a lot of stairs so just be mindful of that but that said going up was kind of a smooth you know um it deviated a little bit but it was a smooth incline but yeah anyways i'll catch y'all later bye y'all we are speculating whether the hunger games was filmed here and also learning that hawaii has a lot of filming locations and no wonder why look at the views the terrain the jungle vibes this is really gorgeous yo they look like ferrets and squirrels i'm confused I've never seen a mongoose before. Hey, y'all, don't feed the mongoose. But they are right there. Dude, look at their little eyes. Hi. I'm gonna name you Ted. No, nope. no. I named a fish at me, Ma Ted. I'm sharing names. I can't. <laughs> Watch me have kids. Yeah, uh, Ted him. 1 and Ted 2. <laughs> no, you're Ted and you're Ted B. <laughs> You're welcome for my career. Oh, he's going out. He's like, I don't like that name. Y'all suck. <laughs> my name's Franklin. I forgot what they're called, but yeah, that's some Hunger Games shit right there. The one on the branch with the redhead. Thank you. Oh, right. Do, 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 do. All right, even. Do birds have pretty privilege? You're cute too. Everybody keeps talking about living in LA and having money. I feel like Hawaii is safeguarded and they need to keep safeguarding it. All right, y'all, I'm attempting to do the thing. <laughs> yeah. It's a no for me. <laughs> it's a no for me. It's a big, giant no for me. Y'all, I haven't even gotten in the water yet. I can't even walk. Okay, I just learned how to walk. I was tripping over myself. Oh, gosh. We're going to try. We're going to try. Oh my god. No. Oh! <laughs> kind of cold. I regret it. Never mind. We're going to go back to <laughs> Oh yeah, that's that's great. I found sand so far. I found my inability to snorkel as well, but I found that when we started. Oh my god. For the record, the girl on Instagram and the one here are two different people. Both still very beautiful. I'm just saying they're two different people. The dust? Yeah.
right, so if you want to see the full disaster, <laughs> it won't even that bad, y'all. But if you want to see the full snorkeling clip, check out my travel channel. That said, I, I, I didn't see anything. <laughs> But it felt really good being in the water and attempting the snorkel. My friend saw some fish, which was pretty cool. I did see some coral that looked like a brain. That creeped me out a little bit. And yeah, um, this was a pretty cool experience. I'm not gonna lie. This is my first time like snorkeling in the ocean. So... Whew, yeah. All right, that's enough of that. Nonetheless, I had a really great time, if not nerve wracking. We are back at the hotel. I did some photo shoots and I also made a whole different vlog on a different experience. Feel free to check that out as well. But yeah, we're settled in for the night. It's our last night here and we're just enjoying the everything. Hey y'all, what's good? <laughs> <sighs> oh my gosh eyelash has left the fucking chat been gone it's like a cerulean type of teal for the vlog for the vlog y'all So as you can see, y'all, we went sailing and oh my goodness, it was just so refreshing. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. How are you feeling? I like it out here. I like the vibes. It's very, very lovely. I brought my switch on board I love this thing I bring it everywhere now I'm playing Animal Crossing it's been fun hey y'all my bad on the super bright filter I ended up using while sailing so what had happened was that the net we were sitting on on the boat had a bunch of holes in it and so if you used your phone on the boat and you dropped it your phone would fall into the ocean I didn't want that to happen so I ended up using my old phone and the filters I'd like to use were not installed on it and so I ended up just filming off of that and it ended up like looking very bright and maybe a little hard to look at so sorry about that I just felt really busted it was the last day and I'm usually really comfortable coming on camera however but I don't know what it was I just had this like I wanted to look cute for sailing and <laughs> anyways that said I wanted to say thank you so much for watching if you like this video like this video comment your favorite part share subscribe whatever you like to do and the last thing i will say is stop psyching yourself out of your own life i don't even have the means and resources to be doing half the stuff i do but i still always try to find a way the thing is a lot of people ask me how do you travel how do you do this if you find out how to get there and how to get from there where you're staying and what you need to know before you go or while you're there just a little research you are able to go to these places and if you have the courage and bravery to go alone you can have even more fun if you have somebody that comes with you or you manage to get a group together or a significant other that's great too but as long as you're not afraid to let obstacles stop your story stop your narrative just like in a book you see how many problems they have in the plot or whatever's going on in the storyline and they handle it and they keep it pushing you just gotta find a way to get over it and keep living your life i absolutely rebuke the idea that i'm gonna spend my entire life working hard as hell for other people and not work just as hard for myself so yeah while i do have bills to pay and things to handle you can never get back experiences time memories adventures those are the type of things that stick with you you're not going to remember all the days you have to go to work or the paycheck you already spent but you are going to remember that one vacation you took you are going to remember that wild ass story time that you cannot believe happened so yeah that said I'm living for experiences like I said I'm not somebody who's just like oh my gosh super rich spoiled I get to travel everywhere I just work really hard and I try to experience as much as I can in this life so don't forget to live for yourself and your own enjoyment bye